this video s segment, I'm going to show you how to uh, do Python, uh, a virtual environment, uh, and the PyCharm IDE. And the focus is really fo uh, is on the Django development r related. So I also will show you how do you, in terms of uh, create a virtual environment using Django framework. Okay. So first step I want to do is actually uh, open the terminal. And I wanted to make sure my current system has the correct, uh, ha to just kind of get a, a grasp of the profile of my system on Python packages, meaning what are the Python packages uh, we're going to use. Now, so what, what I'm doing is actually I'm typing the command called pip. And it has a pip is the Python package installer. So uh, to see what current environment in terms of the Python package is being installed to create a list, I do this. It's the command line option is actually called freeze. Freeze. Okay, and then I can pipe the result to package list dot txt. So basically, I'm gonna this the, this command will list all the packages currently being installed, and then dump that into the package list. Okay, so uh, all right now this is is good. So at least it it tells me the my pip version is older version. So I'm gonna just need to reinstall it to upgrade it. So all right, so we done this. So let's do this again. Okay, now it generated. So if I do it there, uh, do a list of file, you will see this is where the package list .txt. This is the file. Okay, and uh, to see it, so you can. Uh, I use Nano, and you can use anything text editor you want to. But I use. So there's really two. You know, it's the admin unity lens there's nothing else on it okay so it's pretty straightforward uh, now uh, at this juncture we actually are pretty we're all set now uh, to use PyCharm let me start this The uh, the concept of virtual environment is a totally separate subject that we really need to talk about. I will try to find some time on the segment two of this video to discuss this. Okay, so let's assuming that you started this uh, with nothing. So you, you and the part charm, I I want to create a, a new project now uh, because we're doing Django's and that's what we want to. So we select the Django. We do all, we're just assuming we'll create a, a, a Django project called Hello World. Okay, now here is where the, the virtual environment comes in. Uh, so you click on this, right? It tells you the currently you have two different versions of a Python interpreter located 2.7 and 2.3.5. Uh, uh, we're going to use 2.7. However, uh, I also can do is to create a virtual environment. Okay, so let's name this since the project itself is called Hello World. So we will call this as uh, the environment itself is called virtual uh, virtual environment Hello World. Okay. It says it, it's located in my home directory. Uh, there's it will create a directory called ve underscore hello world. Now this is where you needed to show, select. You want to select which one it is okay. So we're gonna do since we're doing that on the 2.7. So we'll select 2.7. This box says, what, do you want to inherit the global Python packages? So if I click here, notice this. These, that's why I did this. 
these two packages here, these two, if I click here, these two packages will be inherited into the virtual environment. Okay, uh, since we have no use for these two, so I'm not going to click this. So we will do the, okay, this will create the environment. A virtual environment. What virtual environment really is, because Python is being used for so many different things, and uh, if you adding the packages to the global, the entire OS environment, you can never predict down the road somebody else wrote a, a Python program, uh, add a bunch of stuff to it, which the module, the version may be in conflict. So the thinking is. Uh, we create a, a container called uh, virtual environment. So for this app, it will only run in that environment with this many uh, packages you uh, created depend for this particular application. And that way it's become an isolation, make it a much easier to manage the different things. Okay, so that's what the virtual environment. To be, uh, if you really, to, to, to think this, it really should be called uh, Python runtime virtual environment right because this concept uh, this particular implementation of virtual environment wouldn't work for 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 Java or, or some other things okay so uh, so once we did this we click create so this will automatically pull the Django down from the network. Notice now here, okay, the, it's download by default. Since we did not specify, it's going to download the latest version of Django. Don't worry about it. And we will make the correction since we're going to, uh, we only want to install, we, want to, we are only going to use Django version 1.7. So now we have this create it right so you you create a, a directory uh, project directory called hello world the Django did this piece the Django generates a skeleton okay uh, in Django in uh, environment you create you always have a, a folder under the project name with the identical one which holds the global uh, Python setting for for the for this project okay and then your application actually will be added as it goes at this level. Okay. Now, uh, what I want to talk about, we started is the virtual environment. So let's look at this. Okay. So to see whether which environment you're using, which is in here. Let me go back uh, to pass from file, click on setting, right? And then you will look at the project. Okay because the virtual environment is project based so you click on the project hello world right you see that is where is the interpreter is point to you see this it uses a virtual environment okay now it is uh, the python itself still is 2.7 right but it's a virtual environment these are the environment i have pre-installed right the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Django, a uh, PyCharm skeleton pre-installed. The only one is really uh, unique. This is Django, which is the version this, right? So uh, 1.10. Now, this is really is not what I wanted. And uh, we really needed to, to, to downgrade this to 1.7 because, again, this is, uh, we, we're going to be doing the, Django program based on version 1.7 of the Django framework. Okay, so but I will show you how this will work. So uh, note, there's a reason why I want to show you this because if you take a look, what I have here, right? So it uses a virtual, it uses a virtual uh, environment instead of the uh, Python environment. Uh, it tells you in that environment you have one two three four five six six packages you know use django you know app got pop pip set up to wheel and okay now uh 
remember this where I did a freeze of my master uh, OS Python package list you look at this you will see remember here we have only two okay so remember when I created I said do not inherit the host environment that's why these two did not include in here okay and also you notice when I can redo this when I do a freeze you will see it and uh, it's still these two packages they're isolated so don't depend on each other okay that's the point of virtual environment or Python virtual environment okay now we have I already said this is a version 1.5 uh, uh, 1.10.5 what do we need to do is to downgrade that how do you do that so we will make it a change okay so double click on that it locates where it is it tells you this right so but we do not want this the 10 version 11 b1 nor do we want a version 10 we want a version 7 so you can scroll down to pick version 1.7 okay and then you say install packages this will downgrade from the latest version to 1.7.11 Okay, it's going to take some time to uninstall and uh, install. So now, if you close this, you will see it. Now my Django version is 1.7. Okay? So, then you close it. And now we're back to what, what, what in the environment, it has a version 1.7 of Django framework it's all clean and that's how we were started our project okay now before we you know call this is a complete we, I have a couple of things I want to emphasize on this okay so uh, if you look at this what we have now you will notice let me let, let's just go through this because at least to finish this so In my master environment, there is no uh, Django because, as I show you here, there's no Django. Okay, so everything is actually under the virtual environment. Let me show you where it is. Okay, so if I do, if you can recall, it's under VE. Okay, so if I switch to VE. Okay. And then show show you what it, let me show you what it, what's in it so under the VE you will see let me do this this is much easier to read so we will look at the VE right this is the virtual environment we create and then you will look at this and you will see that these are the directories now notice what's in it it's the Python whatever so basically it's what's telling you is a virtual environment is just taking your master Python environment and copy everything in, uh, in into this directory with the same structure and then on top of that add the library you're gonna you know add it to it so everything will be running under this environment okay and you can look at this I can show you let me see okay so let me logo anyway I was gonna show you where the uh, custom package is but we'll, we'll, we'll touch on this but anyway so this is the local environment or, or virtual Python running environment uh, in this okay there are a lot of uh, command to actually activate this good thing about the uh, PyCharm is actually PyCharm uh, already done that for you so you don't have to worry about the you know the, the stuff now uh, there is one more thing you need to set up and I will cover that in the next segment.